So we have another case of NIMBY, not in my own backyard. First, as you said, it was on the Upper West Side. Now it's in the financial district. Residents who are saying no to an influx of homeless shelter residents. The only question is, will the city back down again? As the news cycle churns on, the crowds may shrink and what was the lead story typically fades away. But that's when small rallies like this one, put together by homeless residents and advocates Thursday night, send a clear message that a lack of exposure often has little to do with the story's importance. The level of support is growing every day. We really appreciate that you've covered this. And all I could say is, the men need to stay. The rally's location, the park next to the mayor's residence at Gracie Mansion, is not a coincidence. Neither is the choice of the lead speaker, a man named Shams, homeless and a resident of the much-talked-about Lucerne Boutique Hotel on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Shams is one of some 300 men placed here by the de Blasio administration in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. The city's Department of Homeless Services recently received blistering criticism for appearing to capitulate to affluent Upper West Side residents when it tried to transfer the men to a family shelter in Chelsea. After that didn't work, the administration is now trying to move the men to a Radisson Hotel in the financial district. They are homeless all over the streets. If you're going to use that hotel, why don't you put the homeless people from the streets in that hotel? Why would you move people who have been stabilized where they at into this hotel? A group of financial district residents is now objecting to the new proposed move and filed a lawsuit to try to stop the transfer of the Lucerne's homeless men to their neighborhood. But in a statement, a spokesperson for the New York City Law Department says, quote, the entire city has a moral and legal obligation to provide safe shelter to all who need it. This shameful attempt to dodge that obligation will fail in court. Using this hotel to provide shelter during this unprecedented pandemic is not only a justified use of the mayor's emergency powers, it is absolutely the right thing to do. So there you heard it. The city is moving forward. The Radisson Hotel right behind me on the corner and the men from the Lucerne shelter are supposed to be moved on Monday. We are live in the financial district tonight. Jay Dow, Pix11 News.